Welcome to another episode of Talks for a Magical Monday, the weekly podcast of the Heralds of the Gospel. I'm your host, Brother Gustavo. For those who are not familiar with the Heralds, the Heralds of the Gospel are a community active in the Catholic Archdiocese of Toronto, as well as several other cities across Canada. Founded by Monsignor Jean Cladias, the Heralds comprise priests, religious, brothers and sisters, and lay people since their pontifical recognition in 2001 by Pope John Paul II. And for those who are familiar with the Heralds, this podcast features the talks following the Heralds' weekly rosary at St. Patrick's Parish in Schomburg, Ontario, where the brothers share some consoling and encouraging thoughts precisely geared to those dreaded beginnings of a probably hard week called Mondays. If you want to know more about the origin of the podcast, please stop right here. Go back and listen to episode number one. So even if today it's not Monday, but you're still commuting or doing chores, take heart brighten your perspectives and enjoy today's talk recorded at the Heralds of the Gospel House in Schomburg. The topic, how to pay God a great homage by asking great things. Welcome then to Talks for a Magical Monday, the weekly podcast of the Heralds of the Gospel. Welcome again to this program about devotion to Our Lady and Marian thoughts and things that are going to contribute to the growth of our spiritual life. And um, today I brought a phrase that is very, very beautiful and makes us think a lot as well, because it's a phrase by St. Teresa of Avila. And you can imagine, St. Teresa of Avila, she was Spaniard, she lived in the 1500s, she was a foundress, she founded many convents, she actually renewed the Carmelite order, and from many, many perspectives, she changed it so much towards a period of decadence, towards a conception of the real meaning that St. Elias had and the monastic tradition had in mind for this particular vocation. But St. Teresa also, she was very fiery and sometimes, like a good Spaniard, but maybe like many of us of any nationality, very temperamental, right? And so she was a no-nonsense lady. Mm? One time, and that's very well known, she actually was crossing a bridge and all of a sudden she feels this heavy hand in her shoulder that pushes her and she, she falls into a muddy creek, right? You can imagine the whole scene. And then when she turns around, fuming, furious, she looks at the bridge, and guess who was on top of the bridge? It was Jesus himself. And so she, she wonders, what, what happened? And our Lord cuts her off and says, Teresa, this is the way I treat my friends. Which by itself could be already a program just about the Sacred Heart of Jesus and the implications suffering has. But what I wanted to call your attention was to the answer Saint Teresa gave. Because she goes and says, ah, yes, Lord, that's why you have so few friends, right? And that's how temperamental she was, and at the same time, how fiery she was. Because imagine, you're seeing Jesus, the last thing you're going to think is to say, oh, you push me, that's why you had very few friends? No, we wouldn't do that, right? But she did. And at the same time, with this fire that the Holy Spirit gave her, there were also many works that are very, very useful to grow in our spiritual life and in devotion to Our Lady too. And the phrase we pick today is like this. She says, You pay God a compliment by asking great things of His. Right? Of Him. You pay God a great compliment by asking great things of Him. And why is that? Well, number one, because God is extremely 
No, God is generosity. God is not generous. God is generosity. And when he realizes that we need something, he's not a stingy father. He's not going to go and say, oh, they need such and such. Okay, give them just a little and see what happens. I'm going to keep the rest. No. God showers souls with blessings. God showers souls with gifts. And it's up to us to receive more. So if we want to pay God a great compliment, we have to have intentions, but our intentions have to be big. And I'm not saying daydreaming. I'm not, I'm not saying being proud. No, no, no. I'm saying being virtuous, but bold. I'm not saying uh, to ask things that are going to come to make us great out of self-love. That wouldn't be virtue. But when it comes to ask for virtues, let's ask and let's ask big. Why? Because the best compliment we can do to God, the best compliment uh, we can give to Him is exactly to ask big. So, the Sacred Heart of Jesus, God, the Holy Spirit, the Trinity, are the sources of all graces. But we have someone who you can see right here, that she is the treasurer of all those graces. And she's the one that through her intercession distributes those graces from God. Not that she is God, not that she is divine, no way, but she's the mother of God. And she's the one that was entrusted by divine providence to distribute all these gifts. So if we are going to ask God big, imagine <laughs> you have your own mother who's distributing the gifts. So if we ask big, for sure Our Lady is going to intercede for us. Now, make a big list. When this program finishes, sit down, go to your favorite, I don't know, picture of Our Lady or picture of the Sacred Heart of your favorite saint. Sit down, pick a piece of paper and a pen and write down five, six, ten things you really need. But ask big. Don't be stingy yourself, right? God is there. He's not stingy. He's ready to give. And remember, like St. Teresa used to say, the best compliment we can pay God is to ask for big things. So let's go and ask, knowing that Our Lady's intercession counts for us as well. So our Marian thought, our Marian um, characteristics that we can examine today is exactly how much she's ready to give, how much she's ready to intercede. And if God can be paid the best compliment by being asked and being asked a lot, Our Lady being her daughter, She's also like her father. So she's going to be very, very happy that you're not a stingy person, that you're not a proud person who wants to do everything by himself or herself. No, let's ask her everything we can. So let's make that list right now and put it in every single prayer we pray. Salve Maria, hope to see you soon. And this is all for today's episode recorded live at the Heralds of the Gospel House in Schomburg, Ontario. You can reach us anytime at one of the Heralds websites, such as heralds.ca forward slash podcast, New Insights Multimedia forward slash podcast, or you can also subscribe on iTunes or anywhere you normally listen to your favorite podcast. And as per now, pray hard, work hard, keep growing in devotion to the Eucharist and our Blessed Mother, 
evangelize by word and example, and be every day more and more a real herald of the gospel. Oh